Hey everybody, so this is something new that we're going to try out and uh, hope everybody's having a good spring break first and foremost, uh, even under the weird circumstances, but um, just thought I'd give everybody an update on what's going on uh, as far as the church goes. Um, we're changing the service schedule to be Sunday morning only. We're not going to have Sunday school though, and we aren't having Sunday night, we're not having Wednesday night. Uh, we're not going to run the bus even Sunday morning. Um, you know, just under the circumstances, that's the decision that the church decided to make. And uh, a lot of places are doing the exact same thing. So, but. So we have service at 11 o'clock yeah, on Sunday. It's at 11 o'clock. So please be here if you can. We'd love to see you. And we're trying to figure out how to do some live streaming. And uh, so we're trying to figure that out. So anyways, but um, so yeah, be aware of that. We're going to be doing these videos probably twice a week. Try to do it every Sunday afternoon and every Wednesday afternoon. That way, you know, we stay in touch with you all and you all kind of know what's going on. And um, also during these videos, you know, we'll give some announcements and stuff like that. Um, well, right now, it's, all the announcements are kind of up in the air. So, yeah, it's... What announcements would I give? Anyways, so... If there is an announcement, I will give one to you during this time. How about that? So, and also, you know, we'll give you some encouragement during this time, maybe, a, you know, a brief charge from God's Word. Um, you know, for t right now, I would just want to exhort you. You know, we've been learning about the life of Abraham, and the whole story of Abraham is it's a, it's a story of faith, how he is developing his faith and his trust in God and you know, he went through some crazy stuff like famine, enemies against him. That was going to be what we were learning about tonight is he fought against some people that came against him. Um, at one point, God even asked him to sacrifice his son, which some of you may know that story. Uh, I'll go ahead and say he didn't really sacrifice his son. But anyways, so uh, he was willing. He was willing to. You're right. But his whole story was a life of faith. And whenever we get to the book of Hebrews in the New Testament, Hebrews chapter 11, it, the Bible describes Abraham as a man who trusted God and God counted it to him for righteousness, as it says in Genesis chapter 15. And so we just want to encourage you that even though this is kind of a crazy circumstance, don't panic. Just trust God. Keep doing right. And I know uh, you all will remember whenever Abraham was in the famine, as we learned about two weeks ago, he panicked, and that's when he did something really boneheaded. So we want to encourage you all just to, you know, keep doing right. Trust God through this all, and uh, we want to encourage you between now and maybe uh, Sunday, read Hebrews 11. Learn about some of those people who did some uh, learning and how they walked with God by faith. And uh, so do you have anything you want to say before we get off? Or? We miss you. Yeah, we miss you If there's anything we can do for you or uh, pray for you about, just reach out to us. Colorado, yeah. let us know. Hopefully this won't last too long. Hopefully we can meet back up, you know, within the next couple of weeks. So this is, like I said, this will at least go on through the rest of March. Mm -hmm. The first Wednesday in April is kind of up in the air still, but as soon as we can meet again, I promise you we will. So anyways, we love you all and are praying for you. If you need anything, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. All right, see ya.